This is Tyler with VCU's REDCap team. Today I'll be talking to you about the REDCap mobile application. So to get started with the mobile application, you'll first need to create a project in REDCap. Um, there's one already created right now that we're going to use in the training database. So I'll be using this one throughout in this demonstration and training session. So to get started with the training session and the mobile application, You'll want to click on the REDCap mobile app on the left hand side under applications and click on set up project and mobile app tab. Uh, the first thing you'll have to do to start the, the application on your phone or tablet or any device is to download it onto that device. So since I'm on an Android device, I'm going to click on the get it on Google Play. I'll go ahead and install it to my device. And while that's working in the background, I'm going to talk about more of how to set up the project. Um, once the application is installed, it will ask you to set the project up on the device using either a code or a QR code. Um, you will first need to get um, an API token key, which is on the left hand side under API. Um, there will be a box asking for you to request an API token. Um, you'll have to click on that and get access from a REDCap administrator to give you that token key. So my API token key is already created. It's that one in the green text right there on the screen. So I will be using that go back to the REDCap mobile app um, and then set up project in the mobile app. So it looks like the mobile app was successfully installed so I'm going to go ahead and open that. You'll need to agree to the license terms for the mobile application. and then create an administrator and a first data collector username and password. So I'll go ahead and set up the password for the administrator. And then set up a username for the first person that you would like to have access to this app. So I'm going to use my uh, VCU EID. And then you're going to click on add admin and user. Oh, give me one second. Did not like that there was a space in there. So I'll delete the space this time around. Okay, now that we've gotten in there, this would be the first screen that you get to when you log in. Um, you can tell from the right hand corner on the top that you were connected to a Wi-Fi network. Um, to set a, up a mobile project, you will need to be connected to the internet, but for data collection, you do not have to. I will get into that a little bit later on in this training exercise. So to set up a mobile app, uh, for the user that you're logged in as, um, you can see the user that you're logged in as in the top right hand corner. They're connected and right now you can see that it's logged in with Brunette TG. So let's go ahead and set up the mobile project. This is where on the red cap screen you saw the QR code. You can either scan the QR code or you can submit a code. Um, if the QR code is not going to work. So let's try to see if we can get 
QR code to work. There we go. And this is the training database, Prunet, that I want to pull through. This is the project in your REDCap um, app that you would like to set up on your mobile device. So to approve of the, of the QR result, meaning to pull it through, you want to click on the project to pull it on through. Um, on this screen, you can download all the records that are in the project currently. You can get a partial set of the data, or you can not download any of the records at this time. So let's go ahead and say do not download the records. I'll show what the other two settings are in a little bit. So now you can see that the, the project is set up on the mobile app and you are currently viewing that project. Um, this screen gives you um, a way that you can collect data, you can check for other records on the server, you can refresh the whole setup and the data, and you can log into the administrator page. You can also look at the project or send the project logs to REDCap also. Let's go ahead and click on collect data because that's what we want to do. We want to collect um, a new record. Let's click on collect data. From here you'll select the instrument that you would like to collect data on. I'm just going to start with the first form, basic demographics form. So I'm going to create a new record. And that creates your first record ID. And I'm just going to fill out the first two, um, the first two sec, uh, first name and last name for this form. We don't need to get into the data collection for this exercise. On this screen, you can increase the font size. So if you have somebody that has taken this um, survey and can't read it, you can increase it, or you can decrease the font size by clicking the buttons on the, the right hand side. You can also secure the instrument. So what securing the instrument does will allow it so the participant that is collecting the data or entering the data cannot advance to the next form without uh, the project coordinator or the, the user that's logged into the app to unsecure it. Um, this might, you might want to set this up in case you have some administrator forms that you do not want the participant to look at. So you would just click the secure the instrument. And you can secure it for just this form or you can do it for all instruments. So let's just secure it for this form. So now at the bottom the only um, thing that the participant could do is save the record. Um, so let's go ahead and save the record. Okay, the record was successfully saved. So now let's release the instrument. This is where the participant would be given the tablet or the phone back to the research assistant to release of it. So they will enter their PIN number in to release it and click submit. Now they can go to the next instrument or back to instruments. Let's go back to instruments. You can create a new another record or you can go back into the project setup. So say you're done with all of the records for that participant that you have, you're done collecting it, you can come back to the project. Now let's send that record over to the REDCap server. So you'll want to click the send data to server. And click the begin send. You will need to be connected to the internet to do this. So it's done. It's completed successfully and it was sent to the server. So we can go ahead and click back to project. So now you're on here a day later, you want to log in and see if there's any records created on the REDCap server, um, but not on the tablet. 
So let's check for other records on the server. So it's telling me there are four records present on the server which are not present on a mobile device. You may want to refresh your setup and data. So let's click OK. So let's click refresh setup and data. Let's go ahead and proceed and proceed again. This may take a little bit of time depending on how many records you have on the server for this particular project. Obviously the more records the longer time it will take. So this screen tells you that you have five records in there. You can download all five, you can download a, a partial set of it, or do not download any of them. So let's click on get a partial set of data. This is where you can just click on which records you would like to import. If you'd like to import them all, you can check all of the records there. Or if you want to select just one, three, and five, or any other subset, you can just click the checkbox beside the record. So I just want to get one, three, and five. Once they're checked, click the download checked records. This will begin to download them and they were in there now. So now you can click on collect data to see those records. So there's one, three, and five. I'll now shift to um, the project administration for this user. You can clean all the project data on this app so then that if somebody else wanted to use the tablet and you only have one user selected, you can delete all the data on there by clicking that. Do you really want to delete all the data for this project? You can click delete all or do not delete. So I'll delete all of it. Uh, the other option that you can have is to remove the mobile project. You'll click this if you are done collecting data on the mobile device. Um, for good or if you do not need to collect data on the mobile device anymore. So I won't do that as we're still working with it. So I'll just go back to the project. You can also send the project logs to the REDCap server. So I'll click that and say proceed with project log send. There it is. It's been successfully uploaded to Redcap. Okay. So now let's go back to my project. This will be a list of all the mobile projects that you have for a user. Currently we only have one, so you will only see one. Go back to the main menu. And let's log out of this user and I will show you what the administrator login looks like. Let's click on log out. I'll switch the username to admin. Type in the admin password. This is the password that you set up on the creation of the application. So this is what the administrator sees. You can reset the administrator password. Or you can add a new user. Or you can edit a uh, existing user on here. So let's edit the the user brunette TG. This is going to give you all the rights for that user for the mobile project. So on the left hand side, you can see the check boxes, and those are the um, the rights that this user has. If you do not want them to have a certain right, just simply click the, the checkbox to uncheck it. And after you're done that, you can save the rights for that user. If that user forgets their password and says, hey, could you reset my password for me? You can go in, click the user, and say reset password. That's where they could reset it. You can also set up a new mobile project for that user. You can send the data for all the projects for that user, or you can remove the user and the associated projects from the list.